I still doing this, dude? Uh... Hey guys, Larry here, and for today's video, I will be giving you a mini guide on footstools. This will be primarily focusing on grounded footstools, which include footstool to shield. Before I start, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy Ultimate content. It's a few simple clicks, and it helps me out greatly. Alright, now let's get into it. So, there are two types of footstools you need to know about. There's the regular footstools that look like this, and there are phantom footstools that look like this. For this video, we're going to focus on the regular footstools, primarily the grounded version of them. But before we do that, I want to briefly talk about the Phantom Footstools and why it happens. Typically, a Phantom Footstool means that your opponent has done an action that cannot be interrupted by footstooling them. Most likely, you footstool them during an attack animation or while they're shielding. Okay, now let's get into Foot Swap Shield. The first thing I want to tell you is that you should check and make sure the character that you use can actually do something if they footstool ground an opponent. Otherwise, there's not really much of a reason to practice it. Secondly, you should know that this is not going to work on ground attacks. If you footstool someone for doing a jab, tilt, smash attack, or grab, you will always get a phantom footstool. The only exception to this to my knowledge is Steve's grab, which can be grounded footstooled. But either way, footstool out of shield is primarily going to be done on aerial moves. The reason it works is that you're footstooling your opponent while they're stuck in their landing animation from throwing out an aerial. This can also work on the aerial versions of some special moves. In order to do this, all you have to do is short hop and then simply jump again while you're above the opponent to get the footstool. Make sure that they're grounded when you do this and not still in the air, otherwise you'll get a phantom footstool. Keep in mind that your opponent needs to be close enough to you in order to get the footstool, otherwise you'll just double jump. Also, you need to make sure that your opponent's attack is unsafe enough on shield for you to get the footstool, or else they'll be able to perform an action that can cause you to most likely get a phantom footstool. I personally double tap the Y button, which is what I primarily use to jump in order to get the footstool. But if you find this too difficult for you to do consistently, then I suggest changing one of your trigger buttons to jump, or if you're a tap jump user, you can footstool using a jump button and tap jump. I think the best way to practice doing footstool out of shield is through the training mod pack since you can have the computer perform an aerial and shield or do something else immediately afterwards, similarly to how your opponent would in an actual match. If you're interested in getting the training mod pack, I'll have a video linked in the description that explains exactly how to get it. If you don't have the training mod pack, there are a few other ways to practice it. The first one is to have another person do the aerials while you're trying to footstool them. If you don't have the training mod pack, this is probably the best way to practice this, but of course, this is not only going to require you to have another person with you, but that person has to be willing to help you actually do this. If you're by yourself and you want to practice this, then I'd suggest going in training mode and just practice footstooling the computer standing still. Once you're comfortable doing that, set the computer to jump and try to get grounded footstools on their landings. Aside from those, the only other thing I'd suggest is to try and go for them in actual matches. Oh, you got that! Yep. It's significantly easier to footstool out a shield if you parry the opponent's attack. Gamer made a video talking about this as well as going over some footstool punishes that I will have linked in the description. Something else to note is that not every character's footstool out of shield is created equal, and I'm not just talking about the attack aspect of it. Some characters have a much easier time getting the footstool because of their jump height and air speed. So the distance someone can land a footstool out of shield is character dependent. I think that is all I want to say regarding footstool out of shield. But like I said in the beginning of the video, this is more than just that particular thing. Instead of using footstool as an out of shield option, it can also be used as a whiff punishing tool. This means depending on your character, you can give yourself a faster and better option to punish attacks. You can also footstool the opponent for landing with an air dodge, or most characters for landing on stage with their recovery move. In terms of comboing, there are some characters who are capable of comboing into footstool. This depends on whether or not they put their opponent in enough landing lag after hitting them. There's one other way to combo into footstool, and I think this can greatly improve some characters' punish games. You can footstool while a character is in their tech animation, which means using footstool for tech chasing. I think in a lot of cases, this makes tech chasing not only easier for more characters since you're able to hit the opponent with a faster option, but depending on the character using it, makes it much easier to guarantee stocks out of it since you could potentially hit the opponent with a stronger attack than you normally would. In my opinion, footstooling techs are much easier than doing footstool out of shield because you have a much larger frame window to successfully do it compared to timing it on an aerial. If your character has a solid option out of grounded footstool, I highly recommend practicing this and even labbing potential combos that you can get doing it. I think as a meta progresses, grounded footstool is going to become more important for optimizing punishes. And that is it for the video. Let me know in the comments if you found this useful to know and if you intend on implementing this in your game. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.